guys? What's up and welcome back to this YouTube channel. It's your guy Igor here. Today's video is dedicated to easiest ways to fail in Canada as an immigrant. These are the ways are coming from observation of me living in Canada for four years now and seeing those people who are on the bottom of the chain in terms of an immig in terms of immigration, those people who got stuck, those people who are unhappy, who want to go back home, those people who are regretting making a choice of moving to Canada, going through the entire immigration process and then failing and then saying, hey, look, I hate this country. I wish I never came. I want to go back home and I can't even save up enough money for the ticket. <sighs> have a buck or two so I can buy a ticket. No, I'm just joking guys. So they do the kind of people who want to say all those things because they're unhappy about so many things about life here, about people who live here, about the system here, about the government and like a lot of things all together and they always blame someone else for it. So here are the ways of why they ended up in that kind of situation from my observation guys If I miss something in this video, leave a comment down below what you have noticed from your years of living in Canada from those people Maybe I haven't missed you know, maybe I missed something. Maybe you have a better understanding of such things So here you go. The first one is do not improve English guys How often do you go somewhere and you find a person who is like well? I speak English, but you know, I, I, it's even funny how these people sound when they speak English. But you know, if you find them, and you know, they might be working in construction, in cleaning service, usually bottom level, bottom grade, uh, pay grade, bottom pay grade. So I don't want to discriminate anyone's jobs. So because I already made a video, guys, you could be making a lot of money from doing such jobs too. But I'm talking about those pay great jobs you know because let's say you don't speak English and I'm going to go after Russians because I speak Russian I'm Ukrainian and we are at war with Russia so I'm gonna say let's say you are coming from Belarus and you speak Russian or from Ukraine you find some Russian guy who speaks English you get a job and then you just work under that guy now that guy is making good money tells you what needs to be done and you're like yeah don't worry about English just do your job and I'll pay you cash under the table let's say so not only you're breaking the law you're also getting underpaid you're not covered by wcb worker compensation board you don't get ei if you get fired so yeah easiest way to fail is to work for your own people under the table because one reason is you don't have the language skills but i'm sure a lot of people who are watching this channel are you guys speak english so you wouldn't be watching it those people wouldn't be watching my channel they would be following some let's say russian speaking youtuber and there's a lot of those and i can make videos in russian but i just don't want to next part about do this work for the same employer so let's say you came to canada and the guy is like i'll do you an lmi lmia you know this sponsorship and but you have to promise me that you would stay and work for me what you should do is say yes but then make your own choice if you want to stay there or not but some people are actually loyal to their employers Worst decision you can do in Canada because employers in Canada are not loyal to you. In fact, they don't care about you. You're just a number. You're working for them. And uh, I'll tell you, I can tell you guys, I've been laid off multiple times in Canada myself. And I already learned the hard way that there is no such thing as, you know, secure employment. Or even if you have a job offer, you don't have probation. Two weeks notice in Alberta, let's say, and you're gone. Bye. No explanation needed. As soon as, the, as soon as the, what is the, does it cost for a big company to pay you two weeks? So there is no loyalty to employees. So you shouldn't be loyal to the employer, and that's another way to fail to be loyal to one employer. Statistics and studies shows that if you keep on changing your employers, those people who change it more often are paid, rewarded, promoted at a higher rate. So if you want to make more money. Or you're making more money probably you changed a lot of employers in canada now also do stay in the same city that you landed guys i made that mistake i came to canada in scarborough ontario i came to ontario to toronto and you know what toronto is you might be from there tons of immigrants lots of competition i'm talking about competition i'm talking about people smarter brighter than me and willing to work for less you know, so I'm not 
you know, like I could, I can compete with a lot of people, but there are just some people who are so much better in all the other things that they know than me. And competing with those kind of people for the same employment, whew, guys, it's impossible. So uh, you end up, you, you know, like, well, why should people do not like taking risks? So they take a risk to come to Canada, but then they are too worried. What if I change the city? Oh my God, what am I going to do in Alberta, in Calgary? Oh my God, what am I going to do in the other city? Oh my God. And I'm like, come on, you change the country. But then when immigrants come to Canada, they don't want to change anything anymore. So you are stuck. And this is the other way to fail here is not to travel Canada and not to change your cities. You know, you might be living in a city where you're paid less and where you cannot even afford buying real estate. Okay, guys, next part about it is, well, trust a youtuber guys i don't tell you not to trust me but if you want to fail in canada is you know watch some youtuber who is like new uh, you know there is there is one guy i don't want to say names who's jumping that's new easiest best ways to immigrate to canada and he's jumping he's hopping he's like oh number one you don't need english number two you don't need spanish number three you don't need money number four you didn't need work experience or education and then he doesn't tell you the entire story because you have to actually go and read it on the government's website. So yeah, you have to actually go and check with the government of Canada on their website on what are the actual requirements. So many times I've watched those kind of YouTubers and uh, then you look at the details and you're like, well, it's not that easy. But if you went and applied for that, that might be a misrepresentation. You might have missed something. You listen to that YouTuber. There's lots of bad really bad immigration consultants out there too so if you really want to succeed in canada guys and not fail do your own research check your immigration consultants advice go to the government's website and do not follow youtubers blindly and always go to the government's website for details because you get more views if you're more positive guys i can tell you I can tell you about YouTube and how to get more views like that. You just have to jump and hype things up and not give the entire information. It's easy, you know, but then people who listen to that advice, they do mistakes that cause them their success in Canada. They get deported. Departure order for misrepresentation is horrible. Don't do that. Now, another part is do not buy real estate. And this is also what, due to fact, guys, there are people, oh, I landed in a wrong city, in Ontario, now 30 years ago, and everything was so cheap, I could have bought something, but I was too busy. And that's another advice, do not save money. I'll go back to that advice later, but right now, do not buy real estate, guys. I want to give you a full disclosure. I'm a real estate agent with EXP Realty here in Calgary, Alberta, and my details are going to be in the description of this video if you're searching for real estate. This is what I do full-time right now, not part-time, full-time I'm doing it. I help a lot of people from Ontario, from BC and other provinces, and in Calgary as well, purchase places here. So, just so you know, guys, <laughs> anyways, you don't buy real estate you know as a realtor i'm telling you don't buy because in 30 years you're not going to afford it let's say you had a chance to buy real estate you know five years back you had enough money now it just went up so much so let's say this guys you can save up you let's say you're doing really good you saved up twenty thousand dollars in a year and you decide to hold back on the real estate now the real estate is like hundred thousand dollars in detached houses here in calgary roughly roughly not exactly roughly hundred thousand dollars more than it was last summer so good job you saved up twenty thousand dollars now you be ready to pay hundred thousand dollars more so really did it change anything for you no you lost you lost and well don't buy real estate just keep on saving up see what happens now i have some people who call me they've been doing it for 30 years renting and they've been in canada and lots of excuses for not buying real estate now they can't buy anything still for 30 years so Probably saving money doesn't make you as you know doesn't make you as rich as the person who owns real estate, unfortunately. So don't buy real estate. Worst advice I can give you. Next part is do not save money. Guys, you probably know I, I, I like making fun of people. You know 
I don't like, okay? I want to tell you this thing. What happened is to me is I've been laid off multiple times and I hate when that happens. And you know, that's why I'm self-employed. Because I trust myself. I'm probably not going to fire myself, so I'm self-employed, guys. So this is what you do as a self-employed person, guys. But if you're employed, you know, you get laid off, your income is like, okay, you came to Canada, your income is like null, you know, you're barely making a living, you're spending more, you finally got a job, you finally got promotion, you finally got into a nicer company, you're making something, then you start going up, 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 then all of a sudden, layoff, your income is nothing, you're living off EI, if you got it, if you're not, then you're just stuck, and it keeps on fluctuating here, and really employers here, they can fire you, there is no loyalty for employers towards employees. So they can fire you like two weeks notice. And you know what, two weeks notice, they can show you at the door and just pay you out two weeks. Now just, just get out of the company, That get out. You know, sign over here, bye. If you don't like something, take me to court. But you know, if you don't want to take me to court, I can offer you $5,000, they would say, or $4,000, just sign a waiver, they would never take me to court and get out. And to court, take him to court is, takes up to two years. So, it's not even worth fighting sometimes. And immigration lawyers, non immigration employment. And guys, I followed that process in the past. I have some experience. It's not a nice process. That's why I choose self employment. But, anyways, save up money. Or don't save up money if you want to be totally screwed in Canada and, and wish you were never here. And also, guys, do not try new skills and do not try new occupation. You know, I came here and I worked in a warehouse, loading boxes at a Nike warehouse in Scarborough. Very nice job through a temporary agency. And there was a guy from somewhere from South America who's been here for 15 years. I was like, I was like, you know, like I am there, barely an immigrant, you know, on my work permit, working there, loading boxes for minimum wage and struggling for $10.25 an hour, loading so many boxes. Oh my God, it was the hardest job I ever did in Canada with the lowest pay I have ever got. And some people get stuck. So you work for the same company, you're loyal, you don't want to change your occupation, and that's what you get. And you would wish you were never been in Canada because I have a master's degree in economics. Now I have PMP certification, diploma in logistics. And guys, so I have a lot of a lot of degrees and education, and that's what I've been doing. And of course, I would hate my life if I kept on staying there. So uh, better to change your occupation and try new skills you know for example for me to become a real estate agent i had to study for that and if or you want to get some other license you might have to do some courses and some licensing so guys if you really want to fail in canada guys you know do not save money do not take new skills do not buy real estate do not change cities do not change provinces you know like you took a huge risk here to come here to Canada and then just get in the comfort zone and do nothing and that's the way where you'll be regretting so many things in your life and decisions and you'll be in a different kind of Canada than a lot of people are but if you want to be living actually Canadian dream guys do not follow this advice take risks change employers do not be loyal to your employers change your companies demand ask for more money and I know some people, some success stories where people found a really beautiful employer and the person promoted them, values them, cherishes them, supports them, and that's amazing. I heard just recently about such an employer and that person is from this channel. And I want to say, this is amazing to hear this kind of stories. Unfortunately, 90% of the stories that I hear are completely the opposite, guys. Anyways, I hope, I wish you success in Canada, guys. Save money, buy real estate, try new jobs, try new things, try new city, try new places, and be successful, guys. And if you're on your way to Canada, guys, I hope this video is useful for you. And I wish you all the best in your life and in Canada for you and your family and your upcoming families if you're single. All the best, guys. See you soon. See you in Canada. And also, Calgary is the sunniest city, sunniest place. And my favorite city in all of Canada. Bye for now guys, see you in next video.